KT is with us right now. Before we get to the light, which I'm clearly seeing, let's go to the dark place. You had this success, and what, the ideas weren't flowing? What happened? Why did you go I away had for a bit? A couple of really big things happened where my father passed away, uh. and I, my marriage broke up. And life just went upside down, and I'd had that experience of ticking all the boxes that you think you should tick yeah. to find happiness. That's eat, pray, love mm -hmm. moment yeah. at that yeah. point. And That's I a wasn't lot. happy. It wasn't right. I was in the wrong place with the wrong person, and I needed to just cut ties. I sold everything I owned, and I moved. Gosh, you moved from London to L.A. I did. You're in the car, Joni Mitchell, Yeah. Fleetwood. What was the life? What was the epiphany? What was the moment you knew I you had, had about, to get back? I had about a year of writing music for film, which mm -hmm. I love doing, and I'll continue to do that. Just did the Bad Moms uh, movie, oh, yeah. some work yeah. on that, and love it. But I was doing that for about a year, and then I love listening to car music in the car. Yes. is the thing. That's where I like, get to know my albums. More so than the shower. Where do you? It's the car. Love mm -hmm. it in the car. Really loud, and um, <laughs> and I'm in the place where Fleetwood Mac and Joni Mitchell wrote that music and you just feel the connection to where you are and that time. I mean, can you imagine? Yeah, it's remembering it was that like Los then? Angeles is a creative oh, place. Yeah, of course. Sometimes we lose sight of that no, with all the of reality shows and stuff but that come through. I, it really just, I, I just started doing that thing of waking up at four in the morning with these big choruses in my head. And the last record had been a folk record. And if it was folk songs, I probably wouldn't be here. But wow. because they were these really big, pop songs that I haven't really written since the first record in this way. But I've now got this like really newfound mojo and confidence of being older and wiser yeah. that I didn't have before. And you have a connection to us in this show. Yes, big time. Yes. So my first TV show in the US, I remember going to see the guy who booked the show and it was in his office and usually it's weeks in advance and I play him Black Horse in his office while he sat behind his desk and he's like, what are you doing on Tuesday? And I was like, what? Can you and come so on I got show? the show. Who was the guy? Who was the powerful I guy? Who was it? Jim Bell. Yes, Jim, Jim Bell. Bell. Thank, Thank you, Jim. Guys. Really, really Thank tall. Jim Bell the Olympics. <laughs> yeah, I can see Jim. So Jim Bell brought you on. Yes, like last minute. And I got on the show. And I remember I wore this bright red dress and these big biker boots. And I used my pedals. And... Everything changed and after I did this show. I think we need a new series. Jim Bell discovers. <laughs> to be an A&R yeah. man. Oh, that's really great. It was an amazing experience. And then I came back a couple of times and played outside. And you guys have been a wonderful support for me. Well, yeah. you deserve great. it. Thank You're you. You're in the uh, creatively fertile area of Venice Beach, oh. California. You're creating, you're writing, and she's got a single that's coming up you're going to love. More with KT in a moment. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.